to bed. <laughs> There's not a man I meet but doth salute me as if I was her well acquainted friend. And everyone doth call me by my name. Sure, these are but imaginary wiles, and Lapland sorcerers inhabit here. <laughs> you sent me for. Ah. <laughs> what gold is this? I understand thee not. No? Why, tis a plain case. Well, sir, there rests in your foolery. Is any ships put forth tonight? May we be gone? Why, just an hour since, I told you of the bark expedition. Then were you hindered by the sergeant. Here are the ducats you sent me for. The fellow is distract, and so am I, and here we wander in illusions. Some blessed power deliver us from hence. Well met, well met, Master Atiphilus. I see, sir, you have found the goldsmith now. Is that the chain you promised me today? Satan, be gone! I charge thee, tempt me not! Is this mistress Satan? It is the devil! It, it is written they appear to men like angels of light. Come not near her. You and your men are marvelous, Mary, sir. Will you go with me? We'll mend our dinner here. Be gone, fiend! I conjure thee to leave me and be gone. Give me the ring of mine and I'll be gone. The ring or else the chain. I hope you do not mean to cheat me. Vaunt that witch! Come, Dromeo, let us go. Now out of doubt, Antiphilus is mad. <laughs> a ring he hath in mind worth forty ducats and promised me a chain. Perhaps his wife, acquainted with his fits, shut the doors against his way. I'll tell his wife, being lunatic, he rushed into my house and took my ring. This course I fit his shoes for 40 ducats is too much to lose. <laughs>